Hey everyone, T1 Glistener Elf here. Uh, I am rocking the Vintage Untap Open League again. I am playing Oath. I'm, I guess it's Infect Oath now, technically. Technically it has Infect in it, uh, but it's actually Golden Gun Oath. The, uh, the, it's, that's the, the name of the deck before I came up with it. Uh, the idea is supposed to be that you play Blightsteel Colossus and Emrakul the Ants Torn are your creatures, and then you have one copy of Dragon Breath, uh, which, uh, can be played from the grave for free, like when a creature CMC 6 or greater enters the battlefield under your control, you can attach it from your graveyard, that creature gains haste. So we get a hasty, one third of the time, we get a hasty 11-11 infect trample indestructible, or a hasty 15-15 flying annihilator 6. Yeah, you get the idea. There's, there's a few other shenanigans the deck can do. I have a, a copy of channel, well of course it's restricted. So I have channel, I have Karn, and if I get channel, Karn, uh, the Great Creator, I can get Blightsteel and cast it from there. Uh, I can get, I can just hard cast Emrakul and take an extra turn. I can hard cast Blightsteel, you, you get the idea. Channel lets me do a few shenanigans, but it actually doesn't combo with as much of the deck as I would like. Ooh, okay. So real quick, while the mulligan's being processed, uh, this is uh, Captain Gouda 24's deck. This is Shops. I don't know specifically what kind of shops this is, but it has three Thraxos and only three Stone Coil Serpents, so that's interesting, I suppose. The, the usual four Mistress Factory, that's actually pretty good. That's that's what you want to see against Oath, which is what I'm on, which is what I'm on. Alright, so, yep, this is me. Okay, cool, you see the Blightsteel, the Emrakul, the One Dragon Breath, four Oath, the, the classic. No Sylvan Library, which I, I wanted to find some room, I couldn't quite figure out what to take out for it. Uh, the black is largely there for tutors, and um, yeah, you see, it's actually running Imperial Seal. That probably would have been the cut, um, but then yeah, there's D-Tutor, there's Vamp Tutor, um, you know, I, it's weird running Gush in a Four Forbidden Orchard list, but I think we can make it work. Actually gonna get this right back here, just in case I need it later on. Thinking, keep, oh yeah, cool. Um, I'm sorry. Oh, oh, Pat, my turn. Okay, cool. Let's go start off with uh, Getaxium Probe. Gonna lose two here. Whenever it, there it goes. So my computer is slow. I apologize. Sorry. Take a screenshot. All right, cool. So I'm seeing a Mishra's Workshop, a Sphere of Resistance, a Ruby a chalice, and another workshop. I mean, this hand doesn't do anything except slow me down. All right. Could you please, please keep it revealed? I don't think Captain Mines, but you know, just asking. It's the polite thing to do. There's a ponder. All right, cool, I do. So, a few things I can do here. I can go, uh, Mox, Preordain. So, I'm gonna have to crack this fetch. So, I guess I should probably do Ponder first. So, Mox, Ponder, keep what I'd like on top, I draw it, crack the Flooded Strand so I can get green for Mox, Pearl, Tropical Island, Oath of Druids, is what we're going to do here. Ponder. See what we have, see what we're working with. And I, I know that I know the gig. My opponent can't do anything when this happens, so we'll look at the top three cards. Yeah, this is shops, and I can see their hand. It, if there happened to be a thing, there's not. But if there happened to be a thing, there we go. Alright, so I can keep the Tinker as a backup plan, but I really don't think I need one. Narset is not great here. D Tutor, I already have the oath, so we're going to keep the Tinker, draw it. I mean, a Tinker would be nice. It's completely unnecessary, but it's, an, it's a nice little win more button. Alright, so there we go. Draw. Alright, cool. Uh, and then we will play. Yep, get out, get out of there. Get out of there. Right. Play our Mox Pearl, because I know myself, I will forget. That is just, unfortunately, the kind of person I am. I am very forgetful. So let's find a card. I don't believe I have any bayous. I I don't remember. Oh wait, not bayou. Yeah, bayou. That 
might be the play here instead. I already have an Underground Sea and a Mock Sapphire. So I guess I get Bayou instead. Bayou Oath? That seems okay. Teeny tiny problem. Oath is good, but you know what I don't have? Uh, my opponent doesn't have a creature. So this might be early. This, this might be wrong of me to do it so early. Especially since I'm seeing their hand. Sphere, Chalice, I don't really care about either of those. Uh, so, but, what are they going to do to win? And even if they wait, I have a Tinker. So, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. So we're going to pass the turn. Now, it's a little odd. Playing, if I play Tinker, I let my opponent get an activation off Oath. I don't care. There's nothing that my opponent has that I care about, uh enough to, to necessarily worry about doing that. The biggest creature in their deck is Traxos. Um, and if they hit something like a Walking Blist or a Hangerback Walker, well, X equals zero, so, you know, we're, they're gonna get their stuff out now, play a Chalice on... Oh, no, no, Sphere first, right? No, no. Yeah, Sphere first. Okay, good. I, I like that. Uh, we're gonna say... Okay. No response. Alright, my turn. Cool. Uh, hello? There we go. Draw a card. Wait a minute. Oh, no, wait. Oh, I didn't shuffle! I... didn't shuffle. It does not do that automatically. Would you like me to go back and shuffle first? I'm on camera, so I'm not going to cheat. Lol. It's fine. Alright. It doesn't actually matter. Like, this is a bad card for me. So, I guess if it doesn't matter, we're, we're going to do it the correct way. And shuffle. You did not mulligan, right? Stop. I'm stopping. No mulligan. No, I did not mulligan. I had seven cards. Getaxian Probe, back to seven. Um, Sapphire, six. Ponder. And there is no reason whatsoever to shuffle. Um, ponder. Kept on top. It's all good. Hey, no worries, no worries. That's happened to me before. It's been a while, it's been, <laughs> it's been a few months, but that has happened to me before, so... They have a reveal last drawn button now. Wait, what? Okay, okay, let's see if we can find that. Uh... Where? Hover over deck three line. Show last draw? Oh, okay, okay. Oh. Um, it's open deck. I'll just tell you. It was Narset. Alright, cool. Why should be Narset again? Nope, it's Wasteland. Okay. Um, Whale. Like, yeah, that... That feels weird when that happens, so I am sorry for that. Alright. Yeah, it's it's the kind of mistake you would never make on paper, but it happens here. It's just how it is. Alright, so uh, this cost one more for Sphere, and now we're going to look at the top two. Look at top two cards. Hello? Okay. Uh, both of these seem... Eh. I guess I could keep the strip mine if I kind of want to be cheeky. 
just uh, make them use, yep, I do, I do want to be cheeky. So we're going to put this on the bottom of deck, draw, okay, there we go. Alright, and then fire off the wasteland. Beep! Ba -ba -da -ba -ba. And then pass turn. Okay, they do have a sphere out, so that is rude of me. To be to be honest, that is rude. Um, all right, here comes a chalice and one. No, it's another. Oh, this strip mine is going to punish so hard. This strip mine is just. This is going to be. Okay, folks. Well, we're doing it, and there's a time walk too. Now this deck, as I recall, and I, I'll check on, on here just to make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think it only has two wastelands and the strip mine. One wasteland, one strip mine. So, uh, the luck sauce, I guess. I mean, that happens when you're drawing a ton of cards. Um, we're going to actually hold off on the time walk, I believe. Yeah, I'll play it now. I'll play it now. They can't really afford to fire a wasteland anyway. They have to wait on Forbidden Orchard. No, it doesn't matter if they wait on Forbidden Orchard, because it'll make the creature anyway. Um, they need the mana to get out of their own sphere lock here. If they want to cast... Oh! Oh. Well, okay, that happened. Oops. Now, if you're wondering why am I not firing off the time walk, it's because I'm going to try to save it for an Emrakul or a Blightsteel Swing. Oh, yeah. That feels, that feels good. Alright. Draw. Trop. This lets me play Tinker. Let me look at my deck list again. The artifacts are interesting. Manifold Key, Time Vault. I should save it until I have one or the other. Yes, I could just go for Blightsteel here. And I think I probably... Actually, no, I, I should. I should go for Blightsteel. They have one card in hand. They have nothing they can do about it. They're going to at trigger Oath, unfortunately. That's just the nature of the beast. Tinker. Uh, should probably be Sapphire. So that if they play Revoker, they can't name... No, they're going to name... Yeah, they can't name Mox Pearl. Should I... Yeah, I have two blue sources anyway, so this is okay. There we go. Alright. Let's go and get Blightsteel. Da 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 da. Um, pass turn, trigger, oath. Because I have a creature and they don't. Hang her back on zero. <laughs> Oops. Oops. Rats. Well, I mean, they, they look like they might have the mana to live, but I have a time walk. Foundry Inspector, do it. GG. What is it? Looking for a card in deck. I have no idea what's going on right now. Is this the, let's see what could have gotten me out of this spot? I guess? Yeah, only one Metamorph. Ooh, that would have been interesting. Though if I hit... Lol. Yeah, that would have been neat. That would have actually been kind of sick, to be honest. Game two. Yep, let's go to game two. Ah, uh, so round here somewhere. Wait. On tap ball. No response. Uh. Game menu. Okay. 
play another. Huh. Keep existing deck. What is going on? This this looks. It's gotta be a different way. Um. Yeah, I, I know there's a different way. Just don't know how to do it. Draw on play area. That that looks neat. Alright. No, that wouldn't. I'm gonna pass, because that, that would be their turn. Okay, so let's see. So, oh, here it is, sideboard. Sideboard. Okay, wait, no, this isn't right. That's not right, that's not how you do it. Game menu. How? I know there's a way, I just, how? Oh, it's, oh, that's right, it's scoop deck. Oh my goodness. I'm having such a hard time. You can see my mouse. My mouse just overshoots it a little bit. Okay, there we go. Found it. And they're not even close to alphabetical order. Okay, so... What what on earth is going on here? Um, this is... This is obnoxious. Alright, you know what? Fine, let's, let's just... It's out of order. Who cares? Damping Sphere doesn't go in on the play. Tormod's Crypt is nothing. Chalice stays... Uh, it's Chalice is bad on the draw. The Tabernacle at Pendril Vale comes in, for sure. That's a good card here. Um, Gisela comes in over Emrakul. We take out Emrakul, we put in Gisela. And that's specifically for shops. Uh, Gisela makes it where, yeah, double damage, and that's cool and all. She's going to deal 10 on the, on the turn she comes out, especially with Dragon Breath. Uh, but, importantly, Walking Ballista does nothing anymore once Gisela's out. It's just a, it's just a small creature. Energy Flux comes in. Um, Fluster Storm comes out. And then... What else? There's another bad card in, like a, a do-nothing card in here, I'm sure. There has to be. Force of Will is weird. Um, what's another absolutely does nothing? Narset's pretty close, but at least she, she finds stuff for me. Um, yeah, so Mental Misstep, I guess? Mental Misstep's kind of bad. No, no, we have, uh, we're playing Oath now, not in fact, so we need that for the potential Graph Digger's Cage. Potential. The Graft Digger's Cage. It's a thing. It's going to happen. Um, so because of that, I can't really go there. I need to keep Force of Will in. It feels bad to keep Force of Will in against shops. Uh, let's see. What am I... What am I missing? Because I... Uh, dig Through Time is really, really slow. Maybe that's what I take out. Dig Through Time. Damic Sphere comes in on the play, Chalice comes in on the play. Null Rod probably doesn't need to stay in the sideboard, even though I can get it with Karn. So let's add this in. Null Rod's good enough, and plus I have Karn, and it can, Karn can get Mycosynth Lattice. Not that I need, yeah, that's fine. Null Rod comes in, uh, I need something else to come out. That might be where mental misstep comes out. Like, no, I can't do that, though. So mental misstep does... It hits Soul Ring, Mana Vault, if they have it, and Graph Digger's Cage. Other than that, it's just an absolute do-nothing in here. Just an absolute feel-bad card. Alright, so let's... One Metamorph, like they said. Um, should be four... Yep, four Graph Digger's Cage. I don't think I can take it out. So in that case, do I just take out Imperial Seal because it's the worst tutor? Do I take out Narset because she's slow as well? Narset doesn't do anything in this matchup except find me two cards. On the draw, that seems bad. So we're going to take out Narset. And I hear someone screaming that that's not right, but I don't, I don't actually know then. 
don't actually know. All right, we're gonna leave it Tinker Blight Steel. All right, let's draw our seven. See what we have. Yep, shuffle me automatically. Good, good. All right. Well, there's Oath Forbidden Orchard, Black Lo. Jeez! Oh, holy crap! Keep. Um. Well, they could still hate us out. This is shops. This is shops, after all. Granted, almost all of their hate pieces are restricted. Here we go. Here goes. Okay, no response. Soul Ring for free. Good. Free Soul Ring. Alright. Good. Uh, okay. Why is it coming in tapped? Alright, there's Revoker. Uh... Wait, 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 wait. Wait. Wait, wait, what are you doing? Wait, wait, wait. I can respond to that. They did kind of just give the game away because my, uh, on the revoker because the revoker came first so I should get the privilege to choose which one and then mark myself down one all right sphere is fine though oh well okay sphere is fine it means I can't play black lotus yet all right that's why that's why you it's okay. Captain has had a long day, too, I'm sure. It's okay. Uh, I'm still not in a great spot because of that, though. To be perfectly fair, that, that hurts, dog. Don't ask if I'm okay. Um, <laughs> okay, so a few things we can do. We can go strip mine into Black Lotus, and that's probably what we need to do. Strip mine, Black Lotus, Orchard Oath next turn. We can play the Null Rod, like a, the three mana Null Rod, just to shut down what they're doing, but they have a, a creature and I won't have enough mana if we do that. Okay. Um, past turn. Alright, here goes. What you got? Another Revoker? Hit me for three. One, two, three. Alright. Yeah, that hand was great. This hand still looks great, to be honest. Um, and the fact that they have a creature means I don't even need the orchard. Keeping it. Oh! Ooh! Ooh! Okay! Okay! Let's, uh. Do we go on to my turn? Like, I can't pop, I can't use the Vamp Tutor here, can I? There, no, that can't be right. That just, that can't be right. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 12 next turn. And I could have like a Dragon Breath Gisela, but that actually might be too slow now. But if that is too slow, I can just hold Gisela back, let her block something, and then next turn activate Oath, or trigger Oath again. Because they now have enough creatures, I can do that. Uh, never mind. Draw. There's Dragon Breath, so that's a problem. Um, okay. That's a problem. GGG. <laughs> It's like a BM version of GG, I guess. Oath! Come at me, bro. Um... And then... 
past turn, we have the ability to hold up Vamp Tutor. Though, I don't think there's anything that I... So, Vamp Tutor puts it on top of the deck. Uh, I don't think there's anything that I need in my yard, which is what the Vamp Tutor would do. I can also wait till after I trigger Oath, actually. This Vamp Tutor would make sense if I were getting Dragon Breath put in the yard first, but I can't right now. Oh, geez. What's the... What's it at? One, two, three, four, five, six, five... Uh... I missed one. Wait. Counting. Oh no, Foundry Inspector. We're good. We're good. All right. Yeah, ten. All right, taking ten. All right. All right, we got there. We got there, folks. Okay. So, things I can do. Uh, not much. All right. Trigger Oath. We're going to do this first. You know, I still don't win if I get an extra... So, like, I can hit Gisela. It doesn't really... All right. No, it's, it's okay. We'll, we'll do this first, obviously. We want to see what we hit. And we can't really afford the two life from Vamp Tutor now. Discard from the deck. One. 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 It goes like this for a while. One. Oh, okay. One. That would be nice. One. Again. And another one. And another one. And another one. Jeez. I don't think we win this game, folks. I don't think we win this game. Okay. Uh, oh. Well, Karn wouldn't win us win the game for us here anyway. All right. You're around here somewhere. One of the joys of playing in paper is this is much easier. All this is much easier. Also, we better find something really good off the top as well because uh, Blade Steel. Or Gisela, well, in quite a bit. Yeah, Gisela would save us, but Blightsteel would not. Okay, so there goes both halves of the Time Vault combo. I didn't miss one, right? Please tell me I didn't miss one. Well, they just saw the Tabernacle. Hey! Okay. Okay, Gisela saves me for a little while. Now, uh, by the way, I can give them tokens with Forbidden Orchard. It does not matter. The tokens don't deal damage. At all. Um, because of the way that Gisela is worded. Prevent half that damage, round it up. So, prevent half of one, which is half. Round it up, which is one. Prevent one. So, Walking Ballista can't ping for anything now. Um, still on upkeep. I want to make sure I do this correctly. Um, at this point, we've already used Black Lotus, so we can't vamp for Lotus. Uh, Gisela is already locked in on blocking Traxos. Um, this deals one. This deals, uh, one. One. So we're, we're taking three next turn. So I think we just draw a card. Wait a minute, if we're only- if we're taking three- no, no, I can wait. I can wait on the vamp. Alright, Drew. Oh, okay, well, that's a thing, I guess. I guess. So now we can put Dragon Breath on it, but we- we don't want to. No, wait a minute, we haven't hit Emrakul, and there's only ten cards left in the deck. If I let Oath trigger again, and I think I have to, don't I? I have to let Oath trigger here. Um, we can use the Vamp Tutor, uh, at the end of turn, to put Emrakul on top of the deck, take two, go to... F oh, okay, it's fine. Okay. So Gisela is going to do her thing. She's pretty awesome like that. And by the way, that's assuming Traxos gets to untap. Traxos. 
It's okay, we got there. We're probably gonna cast something anyway, so who cares? Ah, I got there. <laughs> got there. Alright, what's going on? Oh, we're attacking with the team. Okay, so let me make sure I do this correctly. All right. This deals double damage to Traxos and kills it. Injures the battlefield. Okay, yep. So it prevents four damage, so it's three to, to Gis uh, Gisela. Take one, two, three. Uh, take three. Prevent half that damage rounded up. Prevent half that damage rounded up. Yeah, it's it's weird how that's worded, Captain. I, I don't blame you. No worries. It's weird. Alright, but I am gonna take three. Alright, cool. And that's that's why, by the way, the, the pinging from uh from walking blister does nothing. Okay. Um EOT. You get a token, but don't bother. <laughs> you sell after all. Well, bother. Just in case. All right. So I go to one. Um, how do I stack my deck? <laughs> Here, let's just click it. Nope, that doesn't do it. Look at cards. Wait, wait. Find... Is it find card? Find card. We took out Emrakul. Crap. Crap. We took out Emrakul. No, it's fine. It's fine. We're still gonna just blight steel and then put dragon breath on it. Top of deck. It's already on the top of deck, but okay. All right. That should put iron giant on top. All right. Cool. My turn. Here goes. All right. We're, no, wrong section. Discard one. Okay, it happened. We got there. Now, at this point, this only works. Bring Gisela down. Okay, now Blightsteel is going to deal double damage here. Draw. Swing for 10, 22 Trample Infects. If a source would deal damage to an opponent or a permanent that opponent controls, that source deals double that damage to that player or permanent instead. So, technically, it's actually not... I'm swinging for 22 if it's unblocked, but if they take the three spirit tokens, that blocks 1, 2, 3, and that means 8 gets doubled to 16 to hit them. You too. Okay, um, GG. Thanks, have a nice day. Uh, I am sorry about that. That was, that was fun. That was fun. Wants to finish the game and play another? We can play another. Uh, or did they just leave? What happened?
I didn't click that. I don't, I don't, I don't actually know. Um, okay, keep playing with that. Ah, there we go. Alright. Whale. Who won this game? Ha ha! Alright. And that's that. Um, this is what happens when you play Oath. Oath beats shops. It's not by a ridiculous degree. What just happened? Yeah, it's not by a stupid, ridiculous degree. And they have neat little tech that they can use against you. Crafticker's Cage, obviously. Hangerback Walker versus, like, Flyers versus Grizzlebrand. Hangerback Walker tokens and Arcbound Ravager makes for a nice little wall that Grizzlebrand can't get around. But I don't actually run Grizzlebrand, so... <laughs> you know. Uh, I'm still waiting to pull out the channel tech. I'm waiting for that to actually show up. Uh, it doesn't work when you're at 6 life, though, so... We'll get to, we'll get a chance. We'll get a chance one day. All right, well, untap is bugged now. I know, oh, nope, we're back, we're back. All right, cool. All right. Well, thank you for, for watching Magic Community, and I hope you learned something, because I sure didn't know. <laughs> it's fine. Um, yeah. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.